this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back again for another Minecraft Snapshot. This is 13W7A once again. Uh, one of the biggest things this week was being able to spawn in tile entities, and I wanted to show you exactly how that works. So I made a little mini game here that also uses a scoreboard. This is The Walking Ed. It's a little zombie mini game here, so let's get going. So I just walk straight ahead here. I built it a little bit away from spawn, and right past this tree we can meet our new friends, and I'll show you exactly what this means in a sec. Here we go. So one tile entity is signs. Uh, that Because you can have text on a sign, now using spawners I can spawn in signs that have text on them like so. So let's play The Walking Ed. I'm Ed the zombie and I'm very lonely if only I had a friend. Let's walk up here. You can set these to be longer but I did them fairly short just so we wouldn't have to wait. So let's make some new buddies. 30 or so should do the trick. But look out for the Steves, they hate you for some reason. So in this game you play as a zombie, you can select easy or hard mode and here's another tile entity, a chest with items in it. And these are very specific items, but it will spawn in. I can even break this and grab these, and then another one will spawn in with the same exact items. So uh, it, that, you can use that for loot systems. Now we're going to go easy because uh, this is kind of a hard game here. <laughs> let's see how we do. So let's put on the gear. There's Ed's head, and Ed's threads, Ed's spread for his waist, and Ed's treads, and then. Ed's pal Ned is his, his remains here are what we're going to use for our weapon, and Ed's steel bread has a little bit of knockback. So these are our weapons. The goal is to kill 30 villagers, but that is going to be kind of tough because there are Steves all, in diamond armor all over the village, as you can see, with bows and arrows looking to get this lone zombie. So we basically have to run around in this little uh, mining area of pseudo village, kind of a hut and uh, kill 30 villagers. I didn't build a full-scale one because this is kind of just a test, but we'll see how this goes. It's pretty tough when I've tried it. So let's drop over here and we can get ready to begin. And one last thing, this is Ed's old pal, Zach, since heads can also be spawned in with different data, such as the player. So those are three tile entities. So if we're ready to begin, let's do this. I'm gonna get set to adventure and teleport it in. And here we go, okay. I gotta run and look out because there, yeah, see I'm already taking a bit of damage. On easy mode, I have it set though where you have a lot of projectile protection. So I should be able to do decently against these skeletons. And I might have to tone the armor down. I might have gone a little too, too much. But this is, see I'm only taking a little bit of damage because of my nice armor. But basically, I can run around here and try to kill these villagers. I can even put some music on if you guys want. Unless that, that fell in the lava. <laughs> I don't want to fall in the lava. Uh, once I have 30, I'm going to need to run over here and hit the switch, and you'll see what happens there. So let's try to kill as many of these. Actually, we're making them our friends. We want them to be zombies, and Ed is lonely. So he's running around trying to get some new villager buddies. Uh, this is still a little difficult. I'm already taking a bit of damage. Let me eat one of my carrots, since we know that zombies eat those. If I try to go in the house, to get villagers to spawn. There's also a Steve in here, so we gotta be careful. And you can lure the Steves to hit the villagers with their arrows if you can get in the right spot here, like so, to help you do a little bit of damage. So if you're crafty, you can use the Steves to your advantage. We're about halfway there. Let's see if I can try to go. I did a, a few different little bases for the Steves to, to hide in, kind of based off of what you might build one of your first nights in Minecraft. But these Steves all have diamond armor, so they've been playing a while. And uh, one over here has a nice little boat that he's on. <laughs> but I, I basically made it where no matter where you go, even down here we've got a Steve. So you have to be very careful. There's not really a place to hide. And you got to keep going. So as you can see, easy mode is a little too easy as I've barely taken any damage. But that's okay. Uh, if I break this jukebox, jukeboxes are another thing that can... Oh, I'm in adventure mode, so I can't break it. But that would also spawn in because I have a jukebox spawner there with a record in it because that's another tile entity thing. So we have 30. If I go over here, I'll flick this and it should open this door because it checks to see that I have 30 with the scoreboard and there's a command block under there. And because I have 30, it takes them off and it opens this door. And over here is a beacon. And the last little bit here, since we've won, it looks like I got a little overzealous. Oh well, here's all the heads of the 30 villagers that I've killed popping up. I didn't actually make them and any zombies accidentally killed them. So I don't get any new friends, but we did succeed. And we have a, t a ton of arrows in us, unfortunately. But yeah, so Ed's got a few little buddies here. Not what he expected. 
But that is pretty much the mini game. Uh, I'm going to put this up in the description if you want to download this. You have to kind of set up the scoreboard. Uh, you just basically make a thing that's uh, a scoreboard. You could do objectives and add a new objective. You could just call it kills, and then you could have total kill count is what you could add there. And then if you want to put it on the sidebar, you just do uh, set display here. Let me see if I can get that to go up. There we go, set display, and I'll put it on the sidebar for kills. There we go. So when I tab, it should, it'll update in a bit, but it will pop on the side for kills instead. But I just renamed kills new friends just to fit the game. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. The, so that was showing off the scoreboards and the tile entities. And as you can see, what I was saying before, if I break these, another one will spawn which is pretty cool. I can even punch Zack in the face and he'll pop another one up here in a second. He's got a bit more of a delay on him. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Let me know if you like this. I want to make a, f a more full-scale version of like a whole village, maybe. Make it a little harder. Hard mode does not have the projectile protection as much. It's got only one, so it should be a lot harder. So you guys should try that out. Maybe make a video and show me how you do. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time for more Minecraft snapshots. Goodbye.